Okay. So you're gonna bring okay these two points are already here and you're just gonna bring these points over. So it would be a point on this line and a point on this line. And then you're gonna connect these points. And I'm not doing the bottom points because we already know they're gonna be at the bottom here. So you're just gonna connect them. Okay, once they're connected, they're gonna look like this. But now uh as we know uh these points are going to need some I don't know what to say okay well basically um these points they bring lines down because it's part of a prism so because these points here go like that the base is going to be the same size as this so you're going to bring a line down to here and a line down to here just like this over here now um we're going to hatch again so Obviously, this is the point that we cut, so this is the point that we hatch, and we always hatch in 45 degrees, um, so I'm just going to hatch that quickly. Okay, and when it's hatched, it's going to look like this. Now, mine's not perfect, because um, I'm doing it in bed, and I also didn't draw everything properly. Um, two sides, like some parts off by a few millimeters, but that's okay, because yours um, will probably be perfect. And you just need to get the idea of what you need to do. So that's what's happened. Okay, so now after solid geometry, you always have to get yourself a true shape. So I'm going to do mine here. So what you do is you draw, sorry, horizontal line and a vertical line. Um, ignore that thing that I just did there. And then you're going to take your compass and plot your compass on one point and take all points of your cutting plane and like that over there and you basically you're gonna draw a line up like that and I'm gonna do I'm gonna start with the solid shape so I'm gonna ignore the prism now and I'm just gonna bring up all the lines from the prism so it's only this line left and the bottom lines are already there so let me just do that quickly Okay, so now that that's done, you're going to take your lines and you're just going to bring them across like, uh, like that so that you have lines over here. And then I'm going to start with the outline of the solid shape. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your compass again and... Um, Put it on your cartesian plane. Well, it's not a cartesian plane, but it's like a plane thingy majiggy. And you're just going to measure your points. So I'm going to start with um, this bottom point here. So what you do is you get your points. So before I start that, your plane must always be 20 centimeters. So 10, 10 um and then as you can see in the middle, there will be like four blocks, 10 um, each, 10 by 10 each. And then your 45 degree line comes out the center point. Um, this is like very important that you do this. Um, yeah. So now you got this measurement and you're going to go to your middle line because it's part of your middle line. And you're going to just put it on the point. And you're going to make like a little line there, just to indicate the point. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get um, from the middle point to uh, this point over here. And you're going to basically do the same. Okay, like that over here. Then because um, the true shape point um, or the cutting plane doesn't exactly touch here, it touches here. You're going to get these points, the same thing that you did with these points from the middle line and get your compass points. And then with this bottom line here, you'll do the same for all these points over here. So I'm just going to do that quickly. Okay, now that I've got all these points, what you're going to do is you're just going to join them. So this point to this point, this point to this point, these points you don't join. And I'll show you why in a second. 
join this point to this point this point to this point obviously and then this point so i'm going to do that quickly okay so these points will be joined the reason that this point is not joined like i said at the bottom here because um there's no line it was a hollow shape so when you cut it you basically cut whatever solid was left away um so obviously there won't be a line here and also because you're going to take the true shape and not like this shape here you're just taking the cutting part so obviously you're not going to see the rest of this stuff here so that's why next what you're going to do though is you're going to take your prism points up so uh, this point this point for your prism and obviously the bottom point for your prism and yeah okay so i brought those points up so obviously with only one point because we already have the bottom point and these points here lie on the same points over there so what you're going to do to get the shape of um the hollow point that you cut out is basically the same what you did to get to these points so you're going to get your compass measure from the middle to here and the middle to there and you're going to plot your points so i'm going to plot my points quickly okay and as you can see that's your point over there so now because this is the true face you just need to hatch once again 45 degrees and then that is your whole drawing complete so i'm just going to hatch and then show you the complete drawing and yeah okay once you're done with that this will be your complete drawing and um that's basically what i wanted to show you there's also one thing i forgot to say but it's not a big deal when you're looking at the left view it means you're looking from the side which is why you'll see like the cutting plane like that so yeah